Alright guys, welcome back to episode 9 of Autumn Oaks Let's Play series. Um, just started to shell our field of corn. Finally dried down good enough that we can uh, get into it. So I'm going to pull ahead and start dumping what we got on. Um, just went and bought the uh, 612C uh, header for the combine here. Um, like I said, we were wanting to chop it, but uh, kind of got away from us. Got a little too dry to chop, so um, probably in the next episode, going to cut all that alfalfa and, and put it in the silo there, so we can have something to something to feed the cows. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep shelling the uh, cornfield here. Um, see how good, how many many stocks I missed doing this um, but yeah uh, showing the uh, field of corn uh, I'm try to open it up and then hopefully uh, I can get course play to work good enough that we can uh, run the grain cart um, but time will tell see how long, uh, long this episode runs probably not going to shell the whole field today because um, this is relatively bigger field so probably do probably get the end rows off and uh, see how much time we got left but but yeah hopefully this should do pretty well pretty good for us um, now I think I have is about half full just going up one side trying to open this field up um, started back in that uh, northwest or southwest corner because uh, uh, I had to go and pick the header up and I think it costs about 35 grand for the header which is not cheap but it does get us a, a nice 12 row for that price um, so hopefully it'll make short work of this relatively larger field don't didn't want to get a 16 row those are those really start to jump in price so that being said got the, uh, the 12 row I think it actually comes with the combine itself um, so it's kind of nice, it's already same color, same everything, I don't have to try to match a John Deere color. Uh, but yeah, see, uh, brought the chisel up, took the uh, 7R, threw it on the gravity wagons. Uh, 8R is sitting on the cart, which I should have fallen me, because I'm not going to make it all the way around. So, actually what we'll do, disengage the cylinder. Didn't want to turn the machine off. I think what we're going to do is run and grab the uh, the grain cart because I'm probably going to be full before we get back to the to the wagon there. So um, I'm going to just check the seasons mod here, the help if you will, and go down to corn. All right, so let, we'll have to wait. Maybe sell some corn in the summer. Or Maybe here in the winter. I actually think yeah, the price is pretty close to. So yeah, I think we'll uh, we may haul a couple loads here this this winter, but I think the soybeans actually are about the same time frame as when you get the best price. So I don't know. I, I prefer to haul everything in the winter myself, but. This, uh, I think we used course play to plant this field and I haven't really been in it a whole bunch. Um, didn't realize it was as hilly or rolly as, as it is. But yeah, we'll take this and, uh, man, there's some real steep angles in this field. We're going to take this and just have it follow the combine around um, until it gets full and then we'll, we'll load up the rest on the wagons. Get the old noisy combine again. There we go. We got we'll, that'll work for us. I think what we'll do is probably unload. Uh, is the lingo right next to? Yep, it does. All right. So yeah, we'll just have that cart follow us out onto the lane, 
so we can kind of unload on the go and keep moving. I want to get as much done as possible before we start to uh, do the last cutting of alfalfa here late late fall. Um, Got to get what we can get while we can. Let's see if I can. GPS are rocking. The auger out. Get him out here. Exactly where I want him. All right, yeah, we gotta get empty before we get around the rest of the field here. Yeah, hopefully you guys tuned in to last night's um, Friday night farming. A pretty decent little stream on uh, No Creek Farms. Um, had uh, Sean join us, kind of keep the conversation rolling. good to go. It's definitely nice having the, uh, the cart follow the track or the combine when you're opening the field up. And especially on these bigger corn fields, you, it's pretty much a must. Um, you got to take everything off in sections and it's really can start to become a pain. So. One of my biggest complaints about farming sim is I wish the rows would match with the header. And maybe they would here, but I'm not really sure. Let's give it a whirl. No, that's actually lined up pretty good. Oh, wow. This might be the actual first header that everything lines up right. It's going to make corn shell and actually a little bit more fun. Of course we don't actually have road direction on, on this but makes it a little bit hard. But I've been playing for well since 13 came out so and that's the way it's always been I think. Taking four rows, five rows. Can't really tell. It's kind of hard opening up a field first. Should be getting pretty close to where I have started, so. Yeah, this corn's yielding pretty good. I am half tempted to sell the first wagon loads we are getting pretty low on money it just always feels like that's the case so I try to get my rows lined up they look pretty good Spin him out here anyway. Try to unload on the go while I can. Can't really do it when we're making the curves and stuff up near the uh, the heifer shed there. So. I can't rave about unloading on the go enough. 
really does speed you up. Got a lot more done in the day, but you do have to have the manpower. Remember to get the uh, accelerator over this field for um, the beans next year. Kind of get these uh, corn stalks starting to decom decompose a little bit. Throw some soil over them. Um, should make a pretty decent seed bed for spring. So if we got time, we still got a got a bunch of chiseling to do and. Said get all that alfalfa worked or uh, cut and uh, chopped up. So. That's pretty. Sh Pretty, uh, pretty steep here, right here next to the barns. Only imagine how much it's actually pumping out the back. Yep, missed a little bit again. Just gonna have to chop that up when we hit this later this fall. hate switching in and out of the cab view but on corners I can't really tell where that end snout is at so that's why you see me doing that It'd be nice for this nice square field but it doesn't happen too often depending on what part of the country you're in so Hopefully we can pick all that up as we uh, start working with, or uh, start shelling the straight passes. So. And generally, I just shell 24 rows off, and that'd be enough. But I don't think 60 foot is going to be wide enough to headland so we're probably gonna have to go around it three times I'm gonna give it a try though but I'm not gonna hold my breath too much down to the east side here and we'll, uh, unload here and see what yeah that cart's almost full too so this field's really pumping out the grain today
top of the cart off and then um, probably just take it back to the wagons. Got the right spacing from it. I'm hoping it holds it all so I don't have to stop showing. Fill that front up a little bit. I'd say he's just about full. Yep. Yeah, just watching it in the grain tank, she is just flying in. I mean, I might not make it all the way around, but we'll be a lot closer to the uh, gravity wagons. And then uh, we'll empty everything out. Yeah, it'd be a good feeling to get all the shelling done. I know, uh, I think we planted some wheat in the last episode. Um, haven't been down to check if it's up out of the ground yet. So, it should be. I think it's been a few days since we did that. So, um, I was looking at my straw stockpile and it looks like, uh, we're going to be probably running out before we can get some more cut, so... It's kind of unfortunate. I kind of suspected that's what was going to happen. Um, which is kind of a shame, but I didn't didn't really think that I was going to go through as much as I am on the straw side for all the cows. Um, the other thing is I've been learning, since this is the first time I have done animals on uh, farm, Farming Simulator 17, is that they are not really making a whole lot of money for me. Um, I skip night as I generally do because you know, wouldn't be doing much at 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, it seems like vehicle up they cover vehicle upkeep and their their own animal upkeep, but that's about it. And uh, kind of wondering. I'm doing something wrong or if you just don't make that much money with you know 155 cows so uh, I guess I should do a little more research on, on uh, how seasons mod affects animals but yeah I was really kind of hoping we'd, we'd have some more there now I'm gonna make sure try to make sure we don't overfill this combine Go dump this cart. Yeah, we got close, but sadly not close enough. I would have liked to uh, got that pass done before we um, had to dump, but. get him in more of a straight line like I generally like to do anyway that's a lot better should have popped the bills off that tractor
Now the, the other positive is we're putting all this corn in at the, the bins here on the farm at the dairy. So we don't really have that much to, or that far to haul. Like I said, I think the first load we'll just race into town with. Um, make a little money yet this this year. But we need to get them full first, so. I think if we go and empty the combine, I th we, we'll get the uh, get the other that second wagon full, and then we can just run that into town quick or to the elevator. Swing this auger out. I'd like everything to be empty. before we start running again, so. Time till this thing empties. this in real quick I think we're gonna get plenty of plenty of corn off this field that one quick load won't won't really hurt anything One of the nice things about this map is the uh, the drive times to sell crop or anything it really isn't that bad. Um, it's crazy to think that we've been working kind of on the north side of the map, really haven't explored the uh, the south side there towards um, I guess it'd be the south farm if you will. Uh, pigs, yeah, there are pigs on the map. Um, 
that's where the uh, there's a really big um, grain site you really haul a bunch of grain or hold a bunch of grain down there but I haven't really ever besides the first time looking at the map really checked it out so all right I'm gonna get this stuff sold probably not gonna make a lot of money on it this is one of the worst times to sell corn but seems like that's always the worst time to sell grain is when you're taking it off you know, yeah, 6,000 a load that's not going to be a whole lot probably about 12,000 total I'd hope yeah and we only lost 100 bucks from that last last gravity wagon which let's be honest in real life your your pricing wouldn't change that much or wouldn't change at all that quick but. put the wagons probably put them close up to the farm things that we're gonna put the rest in the the bends here um, let's pull out the field though so we're gonna put the rest in the grain bends we'll just uh, leave it up here and then we'll just we'll progressively work the the bends down through the or the what the gravity wagons through the field so but with that, looks like we are out of time for this episode. So I think what we're probably going to do is uh, I'll probably do like a harvest extra video. I'll just record uh, me shelling the field uh, for most of it. And then we'll come back with the next episode um, where we try to finish up. We'll finish up the corn and, and start in on the hay. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, uh, like this episode and just started watching don't forget to check out the playlist uh, and i will see you guys in the next one